Dre Baldwin, DreAllDay.com. People ask the question to me, Dre, how do you prepare for a game? What's your pregame preparation routine? The first thing I have to say is that there isn't always an exact set things that I do every single game because the situations could change. Like if I'm in a situation overseas, it might be just a different setup for the way that I'm living, my living arrangements, how far it is from where I'm living to the gym, if I got to ride with somebody, if I'm driving, if I'm walking or whatever it is, it might be a different setup. Maybe if it's a home game versus a road game, a home game might take me five minutes to get to the gym. A road game might take five hours to get to the gym. And if I'm in Miami at home and I'm playing in some rec league, then it's a different situation. It might take me 20 minutes to get to the gym and it might be three hours away from now that the game is. And somebody might call me an hour before the game. So it's a kind of a different setup, but we'll just say on average, I'll just give you a, a random routine hypothetical game. I'm getting ready for the game. I know the game is happening. I know I'm playing in the game and it's a, a serious game that I'm taking serious. I really want to win. How do I prepare for that game? So I'm going to start from the very beginning. All right, so let's say the game is at eight o'clock at night, right? I'm going to eat a meal probably at about three or four o'clock. Probably, no, probably about four hours, four or five hours before the game, I'm gonna eat a meal, like a full meal, whatever meal it is you wanna eat. I'm gonna eat that about four or five hours before the game. Then, um, if the game's at eight o'clock at night, I'm gonna take a nap that day. I'm gonna take a nap and I wanna wake up no less than two and a half hours before the game. So if the game's at eight o'clock, I'm not gonna sleep any later than, let's say, 5.30. The reason for that is I've found my experience, this might not be the same for you, but if I take a nap and I wake up at seven o'clock and the game's at eight, usually I'm not completely awake yet. I might still be yawning by the time I get to the gym because I'm still kind of, my body's still waking up from that nap. So I want to make sure I'm completely awake by the time the game time comes around. So I'm gonna wake up. If I'm waking up at 5.30, then I might lay down at like 2.30, even though I might not take a whole three hours to nap. If I wake up at 4.30, fine. As long as I get the nap in. And of course, we gotta make that work with the food schedule and all that. But I'm not gonna sleep any more than two to two and a half hours before game time. So when it, once it hits six o'clock, I must be up and on my feet. Now, once I'm awake, and let's just say it takes me half hour to get to wherever the game's at. So we'll just factor out the travel time. Once I'm awake, usually what I like to do is do some stretches or some yoga or something at home before or wherever I'm at, at the hotel, wherever, before I actually leave to go to the actual venue that the game's being played at. So if I'm at home or in a hotel room, I might have a, a stretching strap or I could just do some yoga stretches, yoga poses, or I can do some stretching at home before I leave for the game. So some pre-game stretching before the game. If any of you watch basketball on TV, sometimes they watching, if the game's on ESPN or TNT, and before the game starts, they showed the star player. He's on the floor getting stretched out by one of the trainers. Same type of thing, but I'll do it by myself before I get to the court. So not at the court, but before I get there. So I'll do that stretch. Then I'm also doing, during all this time, I'm drinking a whole lot of water. When I wake up, when I take my nap, actually before I take my nap, once I've eaten my meal, I'm going to drink a whole bottle of water. Whether that be a liter or half of a gallon, I'm going to drink a whole bunch of water. So when I wake up, that water will have gotten through my system. And then I'm gonna drink a whole bunch of water probably once I've waken up from my nap. And this is probably something that any, any of you who play ball know this, I'm gonna have to say it. I don't even like talking about this like that, but I'll say it. I'm gonna take a shit. You're gonna take a, a number two probably when I wake up from the nap or before I leave the house because I don't wanna do it once I'm at the gym. I ain't no public gym. I'm gonna do it at home <laughs> or wherever I'm at, hotel, whatever. So then, once I've done the stretch and all that, usually while I'm doing all this, I'm trying to get myself primed up mentally. So one thing that I'll do, I might watch some YouTube videos. And the thing about watching YouTube videos is I watch a YouTube video of a, a basketball player that I like and they're playing well. So maybe I might watch a video of you take your favorite player having a great game. So if you like Steph Curry, a game where Steph Curry had 50 and he was just in the zone and just killing dudes, Watching that video can help prime your brain mentally for getting into that zone. So whatever watching that video does for you, if it makes you feel like 
oh, I could go out there and do that same thing, you should watch those type of videos because they it actually does help. Like we all know that if you watch, if you listen to rap music all the time or you watch something violent on TV all the time, you're more more prone to being violent in your real life than if you don't watch that stuff. Then if you listen to some gospel music and watch church on TV, you're more prone to behaving like the type of stuff you are taking in. That stuff does matter. So when I watch this, I might watch something like that. Maybe I watch a game where Michael Jordan had 60 points or Michael Jordan made some game winning shot or something like that. Maybe LeBron James when he had 45 against the Celtics that time. So I might watch a game like that because it primes me mentally to get into the zone that I want to get into based on the game situation. Because if I know the game is happening, there might be different situations. I might be playing against a friend of mine. So I might want to get into a certain zone for that game. Or it might be a game where I'm playing against somebody I don't like personally. I'm going to get into a different zone. Or if I'm playing in a game where I don't even know who the other team is. I'm going to get into a different zone. So it's different ways that I want to prime myself mentally based on the situation. So I have a lot of different stuff that I'll look for. And I want to start preparing for that maybe even days in advance. If I know I got a game on Friday and today is Tuesday, I might start thinking about it ahead of time. Like, all right, yeah, I'm going to watch this video. Than this one and this one and also you can listen to music but i usually save the music for when i start actually traveling to the venue or if you're in a bus or if you like can put your headphones on while you're on the court warming up or something like that i don't want to listen to just music if i'm home and i can watch something while i'm doing my stretches i'll watch something so i can see and hear at the same time then when you're driving you can't watch nothing so that's when i save the music for it so then when i leave to actually go to wherever the venue is like i said we'll go with a half hour travel time I'm gonna listen to certain music that's gonna help me get into that zone. So maybe if I was watching a video and it had a soundtrack, I might listen to that exact same song or something like that. Or whatever type of music gets me in my zone. Like I said, I might be playing against somebody who I know is a friend of mine, but I still wanna kick their ass. I might listen to certain type of music. If I'm listening, if I'm in a situation where I wanna get myself angry, like I really wanna get mad because I don't like the team we playing against, or I got something personal against one of the guys on the other team, that might be a different type of music. And if I'm playing against people, I don't even know who they are. Or maybe I'm going to play somewhere where everybody loves me and I got a whole lot of fans and everybody's cheering for me to do great. That's a different type of zone. So it's different ways that I want to prime myself based on the situation. And these, this is all mental preparation. This, In addition to the physical preparation, this is all mental preparation. So then when I get to the venue of the game, I like to get there very early. So I want to be ready. So if, if my team's game is in 45 minutes and we could get on the court, when I get on the court, I'm going to go through my pre-game pre -game or pre-playing warm-up. The same warm-up that I do before I do a workout by myself is the same thing I'm going to do on the court. So the first thing I do is um, high knees down the court. And I do high knees all the way down the court. Then I do butt kicks coming back. Then I do hip swings. So when you put your hands up against the wall and you swing your hips side to side, when you're facing the wall, then you turn so that you're sideways perpendicular to the wall and do the same thing with your leg going forward and backward. I do that on the right leg and then I do that on the left leg. Then I do walking lunges all the way down the court. And the walking lunges stretches out the hip flexors. That's that muscle at the front of the hip. Every time you run or you know, if you're sitting down right now and you lift your foot off the ground and you put your hand like right where your hip bone is, you'll feel a muscle there. That's your hip flexor. So I do walking lunges to stretch out the hip flexor going down the court and coming back. I do a stretch so it's like a toe touch a dynamic toe touches so i take a step forward reach down touch my toes then i step with the next foot touch my toes do the exact same thing so going all the way down going all the way back so that stretches out the hamstring after i've done that then i do a couple explosive jumps so i leap up in the air as high as i can and pull my feet up towards my chest i do like five of those jumps then i find like a ledge or a step and i stretch out the calf muscle and calf and the achilles so I'll do like five calf raises, like an explosive calf raise on the ledge. So I have the foot elevated off the ground. So my heel, so if I'm on the ledge and this is my foot and this is the ledge, I'll go down, explode up, explode up, probably like five times on each foot. And that's it. Then I'm ready to go. And that's before I even pick up a ball. Now I might do this while dribbling. So I might do these drills while dribbling, but I'm not shooting the ball. I'm not taking any shots or nothing. After I do all that, then I get on the court and actually do something with the basket and the ball. I'll probably, my first shot, I might shoot a couple layups, then I'll shoot a three-pointer until I make one. After I make a three-pointer, now I'm warm. Now I start going through like more forward, forward speed drills, one dribble pull-ups, catch and shoot, maybe some drive to the basket moves, get somebody to play some like dummy defense on me. 
like that, and then I'm ready for the game. That is my complete pregame warm-up, and I think I think that pretty much covers it. When it's time for the game, you know, I come on the court, I'm already warmed up, I'm already primed up mentally, I already know how I want to attack, I'm already, I've already sized up my opponent, I know who I'm going to be guarding, I know who's going to be guarding me, I know with my team what's going to be expected of me, are they going to need me to handle the ball, are they going to need me to play inside, they're going to need rebounding, going to need passing, scoring, shooting. Based on the personnel that I have around me, I know what I'm going to need to emphasize myself skill-wise. And if I know anything about my opponent, I know what I'm going to need to emphasize to help put my team in a position to best win the game. So that's how I prime myself for a game. That is my complete pre-game warm-up from start to finish. So now you know. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure you follow all my top content up here. Follow me on all your favorite social networks right over here. And make sure you are subscribed to catch all the new content I put on on this channel every single day. Work on your game.